the sorrow that the ingratitude of men has caused jesus by st alphonsus maria de ligori he came unto his own and his own received him not in these days of the holy nativity st francis of assisi went about the highways and woods with sighs and tears and inconsolable lamentations when asked the reason he answered how should i not weep when i see that love is not loved i see a god become as it were foolish for the love of man and man so ungrateful to this god now if this ingratitude of man caused so great sorrow to the heart of saint francis let us consider how much more it must have afflicted the heart of jesus christ he was hardly conceived in the womb of mary when he saw the cruel return he was to receive from man he had descended from heaven to enkindle the fire of divine love and this desire alone had brought him down to this earth to suffer there an abyss of sorrows and ignominies i am come to cast fire on this earth and what will i but that it be kindled and then he beheld an abyss of sins which men would commit after having seen so many proofs of his love it was this says saint bernardin of siena which made him feel an infinite sorrow and therefore he sorrowed infinitely even among us it is an insufferable sorrow for one man to see himself treated with ingratitude by another for the blessed simon of cassia observes that ingratitude often afflicts the soul more than any pain afflicts the body ingratitude often causes more bitter sorrow in the soul than pain causes in the body what sorrow then must our ingratitude have caused to jesus who was our god when he saw that his benefits and his love would be repaid him by offenses and injuries and they repaid me evil for good and hatred for my love but even at the present day it seems as if jesus christ was going about complaining i am become a stranger to my brethren for he sees that many neither love nor know him as if he had not done them any good nor had suffered anything for love of them o oh god what value do the most majority of christians even now set upon the love of jesus christ our blessed redeemer once appeared to the blessed henry suso in the form of a pilgrim who went begging from door to door for a lodging but everyone drove him away with insults and injuries how many alas are like those of whom job speaks who said to god depart from us whereas he filled their houses with good things we have hitherto united ourselves to these ungrateful wretches but shall we always be like them no for that loving infant does not deserve it who came from heaven to suffer and die for us in order that we might love him affections and prayers is it then true o my jesus that thou didst descend from heaven to make me love thee didst thou come to embrace a life of suffering and the death of the cross for my sake in order that i might welcome thee into my heart and yet i have so often driven thee from me and said depart from me lord go away from me lord for i do not want thee o god if thou wert not infinite goodness and hadst not given thy life to obtain my pardon i should not have the courage to ask it of thee but i feel that thou thyself dost offer me peace turn ye to me saith the lord and i will turn to you thou thyself whom i have offended o my jesus had made thyself my intercessor he is the propitiation for our sins i will therefore not do thee this fresh injury by distrusting thy mercy i repent with all my soul of having despised thee o sovereign good receive me into thy favor for the sake of the blood which thou had shed for me father i am not worthy to be called thy son no my redeemer and my father i am no longer worthy to be thy son having so often renounced thy love 
but thou dost make me worthy of thy merits. I thank thee, O my Father, I thank thee, and I love thee. Ah, the thought alone of the patience with which thou hast borne with me for so many years, and of the favours thou hast conferred upon me after so many injuries that I have done thee, are to make me live constantly on fire with thy love. Come then, my Jesus, for I will not drive thee away any more. Come and dwell in my poor heart. I love thee and will always love thee. But do thou inflame my heart every day more and more by the remembrance of the love thou hast borne me. O Mary, my Queen and Mother, help me. Pray to Jesus for me. Make me during the days that are left me in this world live grateful to that God who has loved me so much, even after I have so greatly offended him. End of chapter.